back in the game. You feel that ripping. I'll do my best Seth Hendrickson. Well, this morning we're out on the Feather River with Scott Feist of Feisty Fisherman. Scott's been fishing here for six months now and he knows the river like the back of his hand. You even take it serious? Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been guiding now? Well, this is my 10th year. At a young age, I, I learned that this is kind of a knack for me and over time, you know, started sharing it with more and more people and uh, before you knew it, it became a job and before you knew it, it became a career. <laughs> Getting a little bigger. My biggest ever is, you know, mid 50s. How many is that for you now? How many is that for Mark? How do you feel about that, Mark? How I usually feel. Miss really? Groupie smoked you. Yeah, she did smoke me. <laughs> hang, hang my head. Score three, you have three. I'm getting my fanny handed to me. Okay, come on, Miss Ruby. What is it about striped bass themselves that, that make it so exciting for you? You know, I mean, they're just a great fight. They, the opportunities are there. I enjoy the action, and at the end of the day, it's such a great table fare. You know, white flaky fish, incredible fish tacos, and I love eating them, I love chasing them, and it's just, uh, it's a lot of fun. Yep, that's a keeper. The beauty of striped bass is this. They will eat about anything. And there's so many different ways to catch them. Today we caught them throwing plastics like swim baits. Uh, caught them trolling, lures. Caught them on live bait. Typically in the rivers we use a golden shiner. I prefer to have a jumbo size shiner, but extra large will work too. You know, and we ended up uh, back bouncing and kind of hover fishing in some of the back eddies and holes, and then we ended up drifting down long runways with a lighter weight. You know, guys out fishing cut bait, anchovies, sardines, what have you. I saw guys fly fishing that caught them. So there's so many ways to catch them, which makes striped bass such a fun yeah, fishery. Look at that, there it is. There it is. <laughs> About time he did something. <laughs> Life's good, we're all above ground. Got a box full of fish. I'm gonna flay them up here. Got a lot of fuss of white fluffy fish, dude. My mom's mixed, she probably does Dude, she'll throw that down so <laughs> hard, bro. <laughs> well, Scott, it was a great day today. Thank you very much. You very we, we had a great time, Michelle and I had a great time. We hope you enjoyed this the episode of the Community Show. God, if people want to get a hold of you, what's the best way for them to find you? You know, two easy ways. First, my website at feistyfish.net or under Facebook at under Feisty Fish Guide Service. We'd like to thank our partners, Nimrod Outdoor Company, X Fowler Duck Blinds, Jerry's Archery of Stockton, California, Danger Close Outdoors, and today, Feisty Fish Guide Service. It was a great day out in the water. Follow us on our social media pages at The Community Show, and we'll see you next time.